What happened? What happened? What happened? The dogs. The dogs. The dogs. The dogs just got loud. It says I have to have I have to get to fifty concurrent viewers. They're always promoting. He's not there. He's not on the He's not on the actual like itinerary, which is weird. He normally is there. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Do you need to go outside? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Yes, I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Sorry, my dogs needed to go outside. Sorry, my dogs needed to go outside. What are these? Um, I heard something you said about the Duggars and Epstein. Oh. Anyways, anyways, so this is Katie on her Periscope. I have used this video before in one of my first videos that I started doing when I was pretty shit. So now I'm going to redo it with, you know, 2021 Bill who's a bit more put together. Here's Katie going into the backyard with the two dogs. I know, we will actually see her outside. Notice that there's no water in the dog bowls. And I also want you to notice the chain, the wire, is up the top here. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, let's go! 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 let us go 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 let us She gets so weird. Come on. I'm pretty sure they might be looking for water. There's no water in their bowls, Katie. Let's go. Let's go. There's, go, there's go, go. the wire. Now they're out. <gasps> exactly. So because Katie fails to provide these dogs with adequate water i don't think she even has water bowls in the room does she point them out to me because i've never heard a dog drinking water on her streams this is what i mean i'm going back over all this old stuff it just fucking rams at home when it happened it was like yeah okay so this is the shit that she lets her dogs do but now putting all this stuff together because these dogs do not they're not getting their requirements met but watch this she doesn't even offer the dog clean water she films it oh sweetie look how sweetie. good morning there's the wire come on sweetie come on no go let's go come on go that's the puppy mill one I keep forgetting, so that's... Now Frida's going to do her laps around the backyard. No, Frida is showing that this land is hers, that she owns it, that she is Alpha Dog. Remember, Katie, we've been over this. Sweetie just wanted to go back inside because she is fearing for her safety. She does not feel safe in your backyard. Please tell me why. Because there's a wire there that she is usually latched to. She's confused. Usually you latch her onto that. You don't come outside at all. Because you're a lazy dog owner. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. See, Frida, we're staying out for longer. This is different. You know, I'm filming for the people. Don't just act like you come out, piss, and then come back inside. But that's all they do. 
She will let them out from the door, latch on Sweetie to the wire, put out Frida, boom, boom, boom. Then they come back up after they've done their business, scratch on the door and she lets them in. Where is their water? Did you guys see those empty bowls up the top? I'm fuming. It's really nice out here. It's nice in the backyard. My backyard's. Let me just interrupt this and inform you that Katie, I'm pretty sure she has a 30 year mortgage, something that's pretty public. I don't think she even knows that the details of her house and the taxes that she pays and the value and the dimensions and everything of her house are online for the public to view. Even a picture of their house. You've got it listed on some real estate site. Maybe you should start using your brain. You know, what's our song? You gotta make those wheels go round if you want your brain to work. Thank you, thank you. It's one of Katie's top songs, I swear. Yeah, four bedrooms. Four bathrooms. Let's show Sweetie. It's kind of a mess. Pool. It's like a dog's world back here. So Sweetie was drinking out of that pool. There's just certain bacteria that grow in hot, warm, dormant water that children should never be around and dogs should not be drinking from. I want to know where the water is in the room. That's all I'm thinking about. I thought I was worried before. I got the backyard blues. I always compare houses to how I build my sim houses. I would not build my sim house like that. That looks shit. That's like you haven't got enough money to get the other shit or you haven't unlocked the blue gnome thing. God, get it together, this little neighborhood. What's going on? Cat actually like, he. Ooh. <laughs> he put up that and we did this rock this year. Yeah. Okay, that hammock is in a fucked up spot, right? So if you fell out of the hammock, your only choice is to land on wood chips or this white brick thing. Oh. If you have a child that's medically fragile, prone to falling over, if you have animals that are from puppy mills and rescue dogs they don't want to be walking on that shit let's give them green grass give the children green grass why the fuck this shit gets everywhere man i remember we used to have wood chips and that was the best thing we ever got rid of do you know that your dogs can be getting splinters on their in between their toes who keeps all the yard tidy and does the gardening and everything while you're sitting on the internet this is the greatest fucking pause ever the shadows are amazing not even I am disappointed in myself. Rock this year. And let's see. A hammock, a hammock, a hammock, a hammock. Yes. <gasps> and then he put these lights up. <gasps> and then that's my son's old sandbox that he literally doesn't sit, do anything. How long have you been in the backyard for, Katie? How long have you been in the backyard and you have not realized that your dog is desperate for a drink? Why, looking at this, you are just talking about something else. Where is your peripheral vision? How come you are not looking? I mean, how come you can't pick up on your dog that wants a drink? Hang inside anymore. And Frida's licking water off of the top of the... Why? So I'm... Again, Katie, why are you just standing there and filming it? Go get a bowl from upstairs and fill it with clean, fresh water and I want to see these two dogs drink. Katie, put your fucking phone down. I think that's why you're so disconnected from reality. There's a phone in the way. You're always filming something. That's probably why you're disconnected from your son. All the videos of him when he was young, you've got your phone in his face. Hospital, you've got your phone in his face. His eyes are crying. You are there taking a picture with the fucking flash. You've shared so much on your son.
You are an oversharer who has exploited the rights and privacy of your own son. You have given predators videos. I mean, the stuff that you have shared, you're just oblivious to how that can be snatched up, downloaded and fucking shared to millions of people within 20 seconds. Even less than that, but I feel like 20 seconds is long enough for you to grasp what is going on. And now you're fucking up these dogs' lives and you're filming it. You couldn't even tell when the dogs needed to go to the toilet. Oh. And Sweetie is sitting underneath. <laughs> Adopt you, please. Sweetie is hiding. Frida has free range to abuse Sweetie even more if she is off the leash. Yeah, when she's on the leash, you can hear it and she's back at the door. See, you have no idea how much you are enabling Frida to just run the house how she likes. She attacks the cats. The cats have to get caged up. She attacks Frida. You encourage it. She attacks your son. Both dogs need to be kept in your room. Uh, Frida jumps up at the nurses. Both dogs need to be locked up. Sweetie tried to jump the fence and run away. Now she is, as an ex-puppy mill dog, chained back up to a wire every time she goes out the back. I want you to be aware of this. Yes, I'm raising my voice. Yes, I'm screaming at you because fuck, man, you need to look at yourself. You need to look in the mirror. You need to ask yourself. Just think about that, Katie. And this is our little tree, Japanese lilac. And this is our maple that we planted six years ago. It's huge now. Hmm. What is it? Why next to a fence? <gasps> I'm sh for that whole time, sweetie has been drinking. I she's fucking thirsty. Even now that Katie has turned the camera back around and realized that she's still drinking, she's still not offering this dog clean water. <sighs> oh. Okay. Oh. You're not gonna do anything, you're just gonna sit down. What and oh you're just gonna let your dog oh you're just gonna let your dog continue drinking that water. You're just not gonna do anything. You're in your pajamas. You're a fucking lazy dog owner and I'm fucking pissed off. What are you doing? Drinking your shitty water. <sighs> Are they cigarette Sweetie butts? will jump the fence, they are, so they? I have to be out here with her. Are they cigarette butts? It's really nice out today. Is it nice out? Yeah. Frida has the entire backyard right now, and this is what she's doing. You go get the ball. Go get one of your balls. She's standing next to you, so Sweetie will not come near you. She is asserting her power by standing next to you. She's not sitting next to you, is she, Katie? No, she's standing because she owns you. You're the one sitting. <laughs> Jesus. Here. Put them up. Get it. Go get it. Go get it. Sorry. Our backyard is like soap. It's like soupy water right now. Oh, that's disgusting. She does not know how to play fetch, not even a little bit. She does not know how to play fetch, not even a little bit. Hey! What kind of... Go get it! She just like runs past things. No. <laughs> and then comes back and gets it because she needs the exercise so bad. <laughs> does this remind you of greyhounds cat like catching the rabbit? It does for me. Right now I'm thinking of a greyhound that's running after a rabbit on the greyhound track. If that was a small animal, this is what they would do. Play with it. She's so funny. She's so funny. Oh my God. It's like, it's like <laughs> there are puddles in my backyard. Hey, Nadia. There's not a lot to do on here. <gasps> there you go. There, oh, oh you brought it back. Oh. oh, that's good. Oh, is she surprised? Has she never done this before? I'm confused. Go get it. Come on. She never brings it back. 
and see that she's not even paying attention to where Sweetie is or what's happening with Sweetie. Sweetie's having a fucking panic attack in the garden. That's what's fucking happening right now. While she plays with the dominant alpha female of the pack. You know, because it's the Frida and Katie show. I'm over it already. I really want to just press fucking... Frida, Frida come here! <gasps> she's looking for a drink. Look at Frida. I give her the opportunity oh, to run and she doesn't do anything. Well, she needs water, you fucking bitch. Look, see, sweetie, go straight back up. I'm fucking pissed off. Oh, hey. thank you. Hindsight, 2020 vision right now. We live out where there's not a lot of people, so we can actually have a decent sized backyard. Yeah, but where's your fence and the, yeah. your privacy? Go get it. Very little privacy. Okay, she's going to go to the bathroom. Oh, she's pooping. Oh, you're filming it. <laughs> oh. Like an immature bitch. It's, it's, what kind of 42-year-old woman stands there and fucking films her dog doing a shit? And I will tell you who. People that have taken way too many drugs and have lost the ability to reason. This is not rational. Why would she be filming her dog doing a shit on Periscope? Broadcasting it worldwide on a pu open public platform i want to know i'm fucking what the fuck i'm gonna have to blur that hey i'm over you oh, she's dragging her butt <laughs> oh my god do you reckon she worms her dogs Property like that in California would be a million plus. Oh, <laughs> she's dragging her butt. Look at her. What are you doing? Are you dragging your butt? <laughs> there, no, nobody lives in that house right there. It's empty. It's a model house. All these houses back here, like all those ones that you see there, those are all brand new. Look how oh. shit they're designed. Look at those windows. The only thing I don't like about living out in the hood, living out here is that we don't have a ton of. She almost said living out in the hood. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> Pretty like, I don't know, people just really kind of keep to themselves. And everyone like commutes for work and they commute like an hour to work. So it's like kind of like this sleepy town where like people are gone during the day and then they're home at night and there you go what is she picking up cigarette Don loves it out here I don't think he would even know what to do in the city to be honest yeah. there's the chain all right Dogs, no water in You ready to go inside now? Come on. Sweetie, come on. How long are we out here for? I was like out there for like 20,000 minutes. Is that a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bye. George. 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 Okay, but why does she need to keep repeating it like that's the only thing that she knows from Peppa Pig? I mean, yeah, that's one line. Was that, did you maybe get up and go get a drink and you heard your son watching that? And now that's your one thing you just say to your son to show people, look, we have a thing that we do. No, you're just asking him to say this over and over and over so you can get it on film for your fans. George! <laughs> yeah, he's not dumb. That's what they say on Peppa Pig. This room. Now, where's the, where's the water bowl? That's what Daddy Pig says. Where's the George! water bowl? George! No, not down there. Oh, yuck. Look at this cat. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. Okay. Kids are hilarious. You don't like He kids. is my mini-me. Oh. All right, I have to go. I'll be back in a little bit. She's licking me. She keeps licking me. <laughs>
my dogs are good. The dogs are, they always pee on the floor. So there's that. She has like scars all over her body from abuse. So it's kind of sad, but she's not abused now. And she's a happy girl. And then Frida, we got her when she was like six months old and she was a stray that was dumped or a dog that was dumped after their litter. And it wasn't, she was not socialized very well. So she's a little bit yippy with people that she doesn't know. But Frida, on the other hand, is codependent. So Frida, do, you, do any of you have a codependent dog? That's Frida. Frida wants to be as on top of me as possible all the time. And if I don't pet her, she either slaps my hand, nudges my hand, or goes, Ooh. Right? Right? <laughs> Yeah, she's on top of me right now. And if I stop petting her right now, she just, like, gets <laughs> videos of just the dogs. I should do a video just about the dogs. Who are the dogs? Who are they? Who's the doggies? Oh. <laughs> Have you ever noticed if you use a certain voice? <laughs> Lafayette can't stop licking my face. <laughs> Who are the doggies? Oh. And a lot of times they, these puppy mills will do not purebreds. They do like these hybrid, you know, mixed breads for hunting. And uh, Frida, sweetie is a, she's part train walker coonhound, but then she has something else in her that makes her look like she's got a really broad chest. We don't know if it's like a lab or if it's like a boxer or if it's like a bulldog. She has something in her. And then Frida is a... She's also a, a, a coon hound. We just don't know what kind. She might be a fox hound, a tree. There's so many different kinds of coon hounds. But they're both coon hounds. And they're both chubby as hell right now. Because Vaughn shares all of his Cheetos with them. And so, so Sweetie had just had puppies when we first got her. She, um, her mammary, her like, you know, her little mammaries were, mammary glands were still swollen and she was the quietest dog ever. She never barked when we first got her. She never, she was just very quiet. And then we took her home and um, <laughs> two years later, she has found her voice, let's just say. Um, she is very bossy. She is very opinionated. She is very loving. She loves to be near us. She doesn't sit with us. She doesn't lay with us. Um, she doesn't want to be on top of us, but she loves to be by us. And she is super loyal and she loves Frida. Um, and then the, there was a chunk of fur that was like missing in the back and some knots on the front. And she said that um, at in this area, part of the country, the breeders like tie the females down and then the male dogs kind of like rape them and attack them. And she's also loves to have her butt scratched. <laughs> like loves to have her butt and hip scratched. Like that's her favorite thing. This is what Sweetie loves. She wants to have her butt scratched right there. That's her favorite. <laughs> She also gets scared still. Like, it makes me sad. Sometimes she'll get, like, she'll just freak out for no reason and just, like, look at you and she'll just, like, pee. It makes me sad. Like, she's obviously had a trauma. And she has, like, scars all over her body from abuse. So it's kind of sad. But she's not abused now and she's a happy girl. And then Frida, we got her when she was, like, six months old. And she was a stray that was dumped or a dog that was dumped after their litter. And it wasn't. She was not socialized very well, so she's a little bit yippy with people that she doesn't know. But she, Frida, on the other hand, is codependent. <laughs> so Frida, do, you, do any of you have a codependent dog? That's Frida. Frida wants to be as on top of me as possible all the time. And if I don't pet her, she either slaps my hand, nudges my hand, 
or it goes, Ooh. right? Right? <laughs> yeah. She's on top of me right now. And if I stop petting her right now, she just like gets even more on top of me. You can't go to the restroom without one. Yeah, that's Frida. Frida is literally on top of me all day long. She's like, she's like glued to me. She's literally laying on my side right now. <laughs> she's laying. Oh, she just knocked my phone out of my hand. Frida. <laughs> Frida. What? What? Oh my god. She's a lap dog, but she's big. She's like over 50 pounds. <laughs> it is pretty much the the biggest, coolest. Oh, one of those super hearts is doing like the ABCs. You have a rescue with attachment issues? Yeah, that's Frida. She does not like to be alone at all. Right? You don't like to be alone. And if I don't, if I don't pet you, if I don't pet you enough, what do you do? I love it though, cause she'll literally like, she'll like spoon me or she'll like, she's been having a tough few days because she actually like, we had some storms yesterday and she gets really scared of the thunder. Literally right in my face right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Frida, tell them about your day. Oh, Frida. <laughs> <laughs> They all just want my attention. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, now they're gonna fight. <laughs> they're gonna fight. Frida always like chews on Sweetie's back leg. Live streaming with the dogs. Get her leg. I came in here one day and she had one of my makeup palettes all over the floor. Do you like that? This case, oh my gosh. She got one pan, but the rest is fine. She got one pan, but the rest is fine. And she rips up everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it though, cause she'll literally like, she'll like spoon me. <laughs> oh my gosh, they all just want my attention. Yeah, baby.